All right, we are learning about the muscular system and believe it or not, it is time for review. So you are about to take a quiz, but this will give you a little review before you head in. So are you ready? Let's get started. Muscular system, I love teaching the muscular system. There's so many interesting concepts in this unit. So I hope you have loved it as much as I do. All right, first we talked about the introduction and functions. So we talked about how 30 to 40% of your body mass is made up of muscles. We talked about how there are over 650 muscles, three types, smooth, skeletal, and cardiac. So smooth is involuntary. That lines your digestive tract, your urinary tract, okay, all, your all your organs. Skeletal muscle is voluntary. It attaches to bones using tendons. And we have cardiac muscle, which is involuntary. That's found only in your heart. Some of the functions we talked about, about the muscular system, we have movement. That's the one that most people know. It also generates body heat. It guards our entrances and exits, gives us some protection and body shape. And then we talked about the five rules for skeletal muscle activity. Remember, you don't know need to know the rules in any kind of order, just need to know the concepts of the rules. So skeletal muscles cross at least one joint. Um, you could see in this picture, here are the biceps, biceps brachii. You could see it crosses this joint. That is what allows the movement. It allows the flexion of your arm. Um, the muscles have two or more attachment points. Um, the origin and insertion would be those attachment points. And during a movement, the insertion moves toward the origin. Most of the muscle, the bulk of the muscle lies proximal to the joint crossed, okay? And muscles never, ever, 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 ever push. They only pull. So when you do a push up, there are other muscles that are actually pulling to allow that to happen. All right, then we talked about muscle names. And muscles are named according to a whole lot of features like shape, like the trapezius, like the deltoid, the number of origins, the number of attachment points, uh, like the biceps and the triceps, by two attachments, by three attachments. Where they actually attach, and the sternocleidomastoid is such a great example for that. Sterno, sternum, clido, clavicle, mastoid, mastoid process on the temporal bone, sternocleidomastoid. Also, the location, frontalis mentalis, temporalis, biceps brachii, biceps femoris, the size, gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, also the pectoralis major, and then the direction of the fibers, rectus abdominis, rectus meaning straight, those are your abs, and then the function, remember, so we have um, right here on the um, anterior side, remember we always consider the body in anatomical position. We have the flexor carpi, they allow flexion of the wrist, and extensor carpi, they allow extension of the wrist. And then we have all of these muscles that you should know the names of. Remember quadriceps, group of four, don't need to know the individual names. Hamstrings, group of three, don't need to know the uh, individual names. So, but you do need to know all the ones in this diagram, okay? So some of them I have already talked about, orbicularis um, oculi, orbicularis oris, masseter, uh, mentalis we did, the deltoid we did, um, the masseter over here, the hamstrings, the quadriceps, sartorius, that's a fantastic muscle, one of my favorites, the gastric nemius, one tendon you need to know, the Achilles tendon, um, you need to know the triceps brachii in addition to the biceps brachii plus the brachioradialis. It should make sense. It's coming near the biceps brachii, but also going to the radius. Okay. Now, muscles in children, one of my favorite topics. So muscles develop superior to inferior. Makes sense. Muscles develop proximal to distal. So because of that, infant muscular development typically progresses in a typical order. So you see this adorable baby. Um, this baby can hold its head up. So holding your head up is one of the first things. And that's what tummy time comes in crucial for. Then babies typically roll over and then sit up. This baby head looks like um, this baby has mostly mastered the sitting up process and then crawling and then walking. 
So there are lots of ways to encourage muscular development in children. So letting children get dressed for themselves, including tying their shoes, letting them feed themselves, letting them help with um, cooking, uh, playing with them, being active, sports, scissors, cutting, drawing, tummy time, whole bunches of ways to encourage muscular development in children. Basically, children have to practice so many things. They're not going to be able to write or use scissors if they're never given that opportunity to do similar things, okay? And yes, they will go slow. And yes, it can be messy, but we still show them to do it. Um, you can see this illustration. This shows W sitting. W sitting is dangerous for many reasons. Um, it can um, encourage dislocation of the ankle, the knee, and the hip joint. Um, it can limit cross body movements and also decrease core strength. So what are your alternatives? Say, fix your legs, sit crisscross applesauce with your legs out in front, both legs to the side, on your knees, either just sitting on your knees or up on your knees. Sit on a little chair or stool. Okay, then we talked about using muscles with lots of language that sounds similar. So isometric, iso means same. Metric like meter, same length. Isometric, same length. So there is a contraction happening, but the muscles are not changing length. So think about doing something like a wall sit or a plank or simply, you know, put your hand out and then uh, somebody takes something and puts it on your hand and says, hold it. So you're not moving, just holding, but your muscles are still contracting. Okay. Um, plyometric, big movements, jumping jacks, burpees, okay. clapping push-ups. Isotonic, uh, you are um, have some weight on you, just like with isometric, but there is muscles lengthening and shortening. So it's doing an arm curl. It's doing a push-up. Not a clapping push-up, a regular push-up. And there's two parts. The eccentric, that's the muscle lengthening. The concentric is the muscle shortening. I think concentric, contract, get shorter. And then isokinetic, which is something that we really don't need to be super familiar with, is the same speed, and that requires special machinery. And then we talked about muscle fatigue. That's a decline in muscle force over time. For those of you who took biology, Previously, there was a closed bin experiment um, where the number of squeezes decreased over time. Why does that happen? Primarily because of lactic acid buildup, but it can do, be due to not having enough vitamins, having impaired blood flow, your age, or you could have an underlying health condition. So what are some treatments or prevention, stretch, warm up, cool down, super important, training, build up to increased activity, increased weight, also having rest days, and things like caffeine, garlic, multivitamins, and ginseng can play a role in prevention. All right, then we had the origin and insertion, which we talked about with skeletal muscle rules. Remember, the origin is immovable. The origin, where it all starts, doesn't move. The insertion, so when you insert something, you put it in, right? So the insertion is the movable part. So that's the movable attachment point. So remember, skeletal muscles have, um, with a few exceptions, have two attachment points. The origin is the immovable, the origin where it starts. The insertion, think about insertion requires movement. So the insertion is the movable part. And we have movements like this. Flexion, extension. Flexion, extension. Abduction, adduction. Abduction, adduction. Rotation. Okay, we had uh, lateral rotation, medial rotation, lateral rotation, medial rotation, circumduction. So that's this whole main arm circles, right? So lateral rotation, medial rotation, turning the arm in like that. And then we have pronation, supination, pronation, supination. Those are just a fraction of the movements that we talked about, but that's a quick overview. Uh, remember, Abduction, I like to think of the B for making a big angle. Also, if you're going to abduct someone, you need to make that big angle. And supination, I remember because supination has up in it, so the palms point upward. Also, please give me some soup, soup, supination. And there is a quick review, um, and hopefully it helps as you are preparing to take your quiz.